call, I'm call this meeting to order. It is February 16th at 8.34 p.m. This is a, a Legislation and Administration Committee of the RTM. Um, and uh, we, yes, we do need to um, approve the minutes. Thank you, uh, Drew. Uh, do I have a motion on the minutes? George Addis. I'll second, I second. Them. I'm I've, sorry, I've what was that? I didn't, I didn't take a look at the minutes, I'm sorry. Were they sent with okay. the packet? Oh, yeah, they were sent on the uh, oh. on Betsy. Okay, I'll take a look really quick right now. Um, all right, um, so we have a motion and a second. All those, uh, any comments on the minutes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any uh, against? Any abstentions? I'll abstain. I, I just okay. hate it. Sorry. You got that, Drew? Yep. Okay, that brings us, I'm going to go through the order that is on the agenda because uh, that's how I'm looking at it. So the next one is the uh, five-year bus replacement plan and the 71000 to purchase, which includes the 56800 by the grants and the rest by, um, by donations to, uh, I guess, to the town or to the senior bus senior center. I'm not sure exactly where, how those donations are collected, but um, do I have a motion on that? I'll move it. Yes. Oh, I'll second it, Jeff. Okay. You got that, Drew? Second, Steele. Yep. <clears throat> Any discussion on this item? It, I, I would just say I think it's it's great when some of this is paid for by donations and nothing out of the town budget, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you know how those donations – I guess you asked. Maybe you don't know how those donations come in. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that would be great. Um, um, I've done a lot of, uh, well, I used to over the years, I have done um, luncheons at the senior uh, center and there's just a lot of activity and I would assume that the people, you know, all the people that use the senior center are probably the, you know, right. the, You're they're right. aware. I wonder if, they're aware, so I wonder they if corporate, do companies donate though? Do, do local businesses donate or do you think it's all individuals? That's a good question. I'm, I'm not sure. It would be interesting to know how much of their operating budget is donations on an annual basis. Right. Like, is it ten thousand? Right. Is it twenty? Is it a hundred? Yep. Yep. We'll, we'll find that out soon. Soon, I'm sure. <clears throat> um, any other conversation on this item? Item four. Okay. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, unanimous. Next up, we have the first WPCA item, item five. This is $115,000 for sam environmental sampling, monitor monitoring, and excavation and disposal of contaminated soils for the microgrid project. Do I have a motion on this one? Gerber. And do I have a second? A second. That was Vergara? Okay. Uh, any discussion of this item? I really was favor? curious if you could get a grant. So he didn't seem that he seemed to think that he granted himself out. Is that my for my question to see if there was a like a um, environmental grant to clean this up, considering it was historic, as he said, like from so long ago and. Who was it? Bill, think, was it you who said you thought it was from um, when it was a missile site? That, well, that was Mark, and uh, I think that's sort of the, the, the general thought. It was the Nike. So. Yeah, which could, Did they have could be a lot of... they have PCBs in 1937? Oh, I think so. But yeah, I have no idea. I thought it was like a plastic thing that they came in in the 50s, but... Well, it was, well, was it in a Nike site in the 50s? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess the, the question I would have is, I mean, do we, do we trust that, that the, the team has looked into funding, you know, what funding is out there, or do we not trust that they have? I mean, um, it does, you know, these, it seems if it's, if it's federal, 
it's federal pollution, it would be nice if the federal government would pay for it. But uh, it seems well, like it's been in town thought. hands. For, yeah, but if it's been in town ha- hands for so long, maybe that you know that that that, that bridge has been you know r- crossed a long we'll time. We'll do it. The ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. You could, well, you could shoot him an email and ask him. I mean, just and no harm, right? But I'm sure. I'm sure they're looking for every dollar they can get that, you know, from grants, but why not ask them? Just... Okay. I'll, I'll shoot an email. I just, because of the nature of it and that it was historic and that it was, you know, outside the town's purview. Figure, for a long time. You know, $115,000 is $115,000. Hey, stranger so, things have happened. You might say, yeah, I, I looked into it and we actually yeah. can get okay, a grant. I'll, I'll send the email through the moderator to him. Any other discussion on this item five? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? All those opposed, say nay. Any abstentions? I'm gonna, Georgiatis is going to abstain. Okay. Right. Is All that right. what we'll I should do if I'm going to send the email for more information? Sure. That sounds, sure. Good. That sounds fine. Um, okay. Item six is also uh, WPCA. This is a 53595 um, for environmental sampling and monitoring for a gas line trench and installation of a new gas line to the wastewater treatment plant generator. Do I have a motion? So moved, Karen. Second. Gerber is a second. Okay, thank you. Uh, any discussion on this item? Well, so Drew again, I really can't believe that they're going to charge us fifty-three thousand dollars. Like, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. They, like, they are using all the roads. Like, not having to pay for any of them, lying their pipe everywhere, and uh, now they're going to charge us. Like, <laughs> it just seems out of out yeah. of control. Yeah. Any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Unanimous. Moving on to item seven. Um, this is all PCA, the 135,950 um, to replace the, the East Trunk Sewer Wetland Crossing Interceptor from the Metro Center to the intersection of Kennard Street. Um, do I have a motion on this? So Gerber. moved, Ms. Karen. <laughs> all right, so how about Karen? Wackerman moved. Who seconded it? Gerber. Just moving it along. <laughs> any, uh, yeah, exactly. Any, um, any conversation on this item? It kind of concerned me what Hannah said about remembering discussions about this specifically and saying that the, um, developers had said that they would be responsible for this. So that was a little concerning to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure, though, that I, his response – could be right that you know that they're responsible for the portion on their property. Yeah. That that that, that, that would make more sense. Slow. Yeah. Yeah. But she can ask again. Yeah, and I mean it's an important infrastructure improvement change, so yeah, we don't exactly charge, you know, the developer for this, like up at, you know, the, the big pump station up by Sacred Heart. They're contributing, what, I think a million dollars, but the, we're spending, I think, several million because, you know, it's, it's just a town responsibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any other conversation on this item? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. And I believe we do not have to talk about the uh, 
tax relief um, right. ordinance, but I suppose we can, but it's not, I don't think we're doing that tonight, right? Right. That's we won't right. vote on it this week, yeah. So okay. we're going to, so Krista Witt's coming next week, and we'll discuss it and vote on it next week so that yeah, it can get no. into that the tax, the yeah. so it can get in yep. and implemented by this tax season. No, I don't think we, we, have, we have to do it next month. We can do it next month. End of March. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it gives it will, us a breathing room. So it will be discussed uh, next week and then voted on in the following month's RTM meeting? Right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, anything else anyone wants to discuss here? Hearing no, none, do I, I have a motion say, to say with the senior tax stuff, I know we discussed it a lot last week, but I still think that the language isn't good for the review. I don't think that it is conducive for um, actually getting work done on it. It's, it doesn't seem like a good process. So I, I still am I'm supportive of the changes to the credit table, um, but I just I still have issues with that review language where I just doesn't make any sense to me to make it go through um, a board of finance subcommittee, then to the full committee, then back to a subcommittee, then a full committee, <laughs> and then to the RTM. It's just really convoluted, and I just think it needs to go right to a joint committee. Um, so that's, that's how I feel about it. Well, it could be, I yeah. mean, I, you could make that motion on the floor of the body, right? Yes, I'm thinking of doing yeah. that. I would give um, the full body advance notice since we have so much time to think about it. So I would probably, if I do it, I would um, give the language for the committee meeting next month. Mm-hmm. What, what's the language, Jill, that you would reinsert or put in? Um, I'd just probably cut out the first few sentences and jump right to the joint forming a joint committee and I would compromise and accept that uh, provision and give the Board of Finance more power in that com- in that joint committee and they can have three members we have two um, so they still have a foothold in the decision making because it seems like that's the concern of theirs but um, I think that and then it goes back to it will necessarily go back to the Board of Finance, and they can do whatever they want. If they want to have it go to a subcommittee and take more time, then that's their prerogative. But I just don't think that we should be writing that into the ordinance and requiring them to do that because a future Board of Finance um, might decide that they don't want to do it, but now it's required by um, the ordinance. So they would have to do it that way. So it just makes more sense to me to do a joint committee. It goes to the Board of Finance. They could do whatever they want with it, and then it goes to the RTM. It just seems I agree with Jill. To me. This is Drew. I agree with Jill because you want both, both minds, you know, like the financial mind and the ordinance mind doing the initial crafting. Then it goes to the Board of Finance. Then it comes back. I mean, for them to do, like, two Board of Finance groups before it comes to sort of the ordinance mind, I feel like it's wasting the Board of Finance time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to me that... A bunch of people's time, like the assessor too, like he's going to have to go to so many different meetings to to satisfy that. So I just think it's really unnecessary. And if, if, it's an, if it's an issue of, like, control or whatever it is, I mean, I will give in with that. I think that having, having them have three spots, even though it's a nine-body, a nine-person board, and we're a 40-person board and we're going to have two spots, that's seating a lot. But mm-hmm. I'm willing to do that to just, just ensure a smooth process and that um, we never have to do this ever again this way that happened over the past three years. I, I agree. I agree with you, Jill. I, you know, just reading the, the state, you know, ordinance, I, I, I don't really understand how in the final week of this thing, we went from, you know, sort of an RTM 
focused thing with um, then you know getting um, a recommendation uh, from the from the um, board of finance. I mean the, the the state the state ordinance says you know after the you know tax relief is established you know the, the part two it's kind of an equal RTM it's an equal legislative and, and board of finance the board, board of finance has to recommend it but somehow we ended up with the board of finance really controlling it and pushing the RTM really to the bottom of the heap in terms of importance in the process I don't really know how we got there I don't know why we got there um, and I don't think it's really necessary because you do have the backstop of the art of the board of finance having to recommend it the art the board of finance can always not recommend it I don't really even I'm not sure I agree on a three, you know a, a, you know more people from the, the Board of Finance on the committee. I mean, it could be an equal committee because you have the backstop of the full Board of Finance who might just say they're not going to recommend it. I don't know why we've taken the RTM so far out of the picture when in the past it was the RTM that, that cared most about this process and not really, you know, I, I heard Chris talk about, you know, the concern of debt, like really his concern of like Democrats, you know, wanting to make the Republican Board of Finance looked at, that, that is not the history of this. I mean, the history of this is really, at least the last time around, you know, it was Tom McCarthy and who was driving this and really wanted to get this done. It was like some very conservative people on the RTM who wanted to get this done because they felt that seniors should be able to stay in town longer. And, and I don't know how this became a partisan issue, um, but, I, I, you know, I, I, I just I, I think you're right, and I'm not sure that it has to be three two. Or I believe it could be equal because we still need the recommendation. So, sort of where I stand on it. Yeah, Bill. I Bill I, the only thing I'm going to say is like I I I don't think it ever like substantively became a partisan issue. You're right. Tom McCarthy was one of the sort of original um, members Carolyn of the committee. Richmond, remember. Carolyn Richmond was on is on record saying that we got right, this right. done. And she was like the most conservative. That's right. No, you're right. Remember. That bill. Yeah. You're exactly right. That that's why I think I think we listen. I think we all agree on on the senior tax. I don't I don't think there's much dissenting, you know, opinion on this and whether we should do it or help the seniors. I mean, I think everyone <laughs> unanimously agrees on this. I think it's more <laughs> just the process to streamline it. And I. You know, just my my own personal opinion is that so much is driven by the Board of Finance to make sure this is financially sound. So if they see a reason, you know, I think the, they're a good first board to have the assessor say, hey, you know, what do you guys think about this? Is, are we way off on the on the numbers here? And then if so, let's move forward. Um, does it take responsibility out of the RTM? No, because in the end we have to approve it. It's just that I think historically this has just gone on for so long each year, and it takes forever to get anything done um, as part of it, and it, it just it sits and festers for a while, and we go back and forth, and maybe to just put this process in place to, to first you know, um, um, signal a, a need to do it versus, oh, let's just do it to do it because we need to every year. So that, that's the only thing. I, I think substantively, listen, no, I, I don't know anyone who would disagree with what we're trying to do. So I think we're all on the same page. This does not have to be a partisan thing. I agree with you. It, we're, we're all on the same page with it. We all want to help the seniors. Well, Who doesn't? Well, so, but I think it's true. Chris, I just like to, no, no. Wrote it. Yeah, go ahead. Can I just, this is true. I just want to say, Jeff, because you weren't on the RTM, but at the time, and you've been on a lot, and then you, you took the hiatus. But um, yep. when Jill was writing this in 2018 and 2019, mm -hmm. you know, it was complete. And, and it was presented to the Board of Finance just for, you know, recommendation, which is their, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. their, their gig. And then nothing happened for a year and a half. So if it goes to a, a joint committee, then at least that joint committee can move it forward to the board of finance. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's why I agree with Jill, because we don't want to relinquish our power. It's an ordinance. The RTM is in charge of ordinances. So if at least if it's a joint mm -hmm. committee, then both both parties, the you know, can move it forward. And then if the board of finance wants to sit on it again, then they can sit on it again. But it um, it it just it keeps a balance.
between the people who are worried about the money, the people who are worrying about the ordinances. I, I just think it's, uh, I don't know. Again, well, it, could, I, it could get stopped again, but. Drew, Drew I mean, um, you know, my, my impression, and, and well, Jill, Jill was running it, so Jill, jump in if I'm wrong, but my impression was it was a joint effort on which b- Republicans and Democrats were, were, had a final, a final draft of this thing that they were ready to push forward. And on the RPM, stuck, yes, I agree. On with the you RPM, that. there was it was it was not really that that contentious. It wasn't contentious at all. I mean, I remember the people, the Republicans on it were were happy with it, and all of a sudden they're resigning from the thing because you know Bud Morton and, and a couple of some people on Fairfield taxpayers sort of started screaming and yelling that they they didn't want it to be done at all, and all of a sudden it became and the Board of Finance sort of. You know, was listening to fearful taxpayers' concerns, and all of a sudden it became political, and that's why mm-hmm. it really it became dead for a while. But had it run sort of the way it had run um, back in twenty in in, in um, twenty ten, you know, when it was Republican controlled, you know, it would have just probably gone forward and and gotten passed pretty smoothly because at the RPM level, it seemed to pre- I went to a couple of the meetings and like everyone was on board as far as I could see. I mean, Jill, correct me if I'm wrong, but it went from like hundred percent agreement to like, Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to abstain. Oh, I'm stepping down because of po- political pressure. So it never mm-hmm. was political. It became political. Um, yeah. For which some is sad reason. Yeah. Yeah. But I, 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 I it's an election I, year. We had some disagreements over the income level, and so it was a compromise to get where we were. So the 90000 was a, a serious compromise. Um, there were several members who wanted it higher, um, and that's Michael actually... Michael Curley wanted thing. it higher, right? Was it Michael yeah. Curley? He wanted it yeah. higher. So, yeah. And that's the yeah. thing that people, you know, got very upset about was raising the income level. And that's really the only way to get more participants in um, is fiddling with the eligibility requirements with the income or the asset levels. Like there's really just no other way to try to fix that, for, to, to fix the participation levels. But um, it was but, just but, such but an my, unusual my general... situation too because yeah. – we, I don't. I have spent so many hours trying to figure out where um, things fell through with the Board of Finance recommendation over the years. Like I've read through yeah. minutes and minutes from the 80s, 90s, aughts, and they were included for a really long time. And um, I think that it was in the 2012-2013 revisions that that's the first time that I could see that there they were not included in it and so there was a lack of this institutional knowledge um, that the board of finance was supposed to be giving some kind of up or down because that's what it was in the past years it was just kind of like a thumbs up th- thumbs down type of thing like yeah you're good to go ahead we can we we can pay for this or no you can't we want to tweak which to it. me is the way the statute is written i mean the statute right. doesn't doesn't say that it's driven you know it's the the statute says the Board of Finance, you know, like has to recommend it. But it, the way it, it reads to me is it could eat, like it's a little vague, but is that the, the, the is that the legislature comes up with it and the Board of Finance up or downs it, you know. So now all of a sudden, you know, it's been flipped for some reason. It doesn't and it doesn't make sense to me, given that the history that this thing's driven by. RTM historically, whether it was Tom McCarthy or Jill or other, there were other Republicans earlier that care more about this, you know, than the than people on the board of finance and, and want to see this looked at every. I mean, we're talking like what every ten years or or it's like eight it, years. It was or, completely completely written when we handed it to them. We didn't just hand them a project. It was like here it is, recommend it. And I I know Chris was. I'm, you know, said about all the time and energy he put into, which absolutely appreciate, but a lot of time and energy had already gone into it. So I agree with Bill that it's sort of been flipped, and I, I don't understand. I'm not, the, way, the way Chris wrote it, what I read into it, it was like, we don't ever want to deal with this again, and the way this is written is like, this ain't going to happen, like, ever again, like, if we can help it. And, um, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm over, oversimplifying it, but I think there's a, a fair amount of that into what he wrote 
And our attempt was to sort of bring it back to a little more, you know, little, you know, hey, don't don't write the RTM out of this completely. Yeah, no, um, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, Bill. I, I, I think it's it's trying to like, it's like a compromise. Like both sides have good points, and it's trying to work somewhere in the middle where where something that doesn't have to happen every year because change, it, it take, takes so long to put in place or it gets deliberated for so long, and it's not necessary. However, there are people passionate about it and want to look at it, and that's why it's, I think it's important those people are on this joint committee if, if it happens. Um, and then the other side of it is, okay, Board of Finance, okay, let's just say they don't want to deal with it, taking it pessimistically. Um, well, it, it needs to be dealt with, and there are changes that come up and, and things that need to be done and if the assessor is someone who triggers it or the Board of Finance um, does it from a, from a financial standpoint, I don't, I don't think it necessarily makes this impossible to happen again. If it needs to happen, it's going to happen. I just think it's kind of this in the middle so we don't have to go through it every year, even though there are people passionate like Jill on this. Um, because but, it, it just but why kind of are you saying every year it hadn't, happened for, it hadn't happened for six, year, seven, six seven years? I mean, it never happens every year. The committee, that, that's what the I'm, RTM committee forms most years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Which I don't okay. see a problem with. But. Yeah, it's the RTX. I mean, yeah, you're right. We could have committees, uh, tons of committees that do nothing or they do a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe it's just trying to make, streamline this as much as possible. But I mean, I, 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 hear, I hear your point. Um, you know, well, I, I just think, yeah, anyways. All, all, all four of you guys on our special committee voted against even putting the RTM like, name in the initiation process. So clearly, you know, it just felt like you guys don't want the RTM to have anything to do with it. No, I, that, that was I, – I don't think that's the case. I think we will have something to do with it. First of all, we have to approve it. And second of all, we would have two members on the committee, and I, I think that, that gives it some weight. It was more just how it would be triggered and um, – you know, I'll but just, it won't I'll just be, leave it at it that. It won't be triggered, but, you know, you know, the RTM won't be able to trigger it if the RTM's name isn't in there. And yeah. it is the RTM that triggers it. Well, the RTM the RTM that cares. the deliberation policy. Right, but the RTM, the RTM, if yeah. the RTM doesn't trigger it, no one's going to care about it. I mean, historically, I, I don't think it's going to. Well, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't believe that, but I don't, I don't believe no one will care about it. Um, this is an important part of the town and, and what we do for seniors, I think there's a lot of people who care about it. And yeah, if it was something that was so egregious, it's going to be, it's going to be forced upon by the assessor and the board of finance. And, and it gets made uh, as a, as a important public issue, it gets brought up. Um, so I, I think, I think there are plenty of ways to do that. There's no way someone's going to sit on something if it needs to be changed, but anyway, it needs to be able to come from the RTM though, since it's an ordinance. I mean, that's, that's just the, op- the most obvious of all of the entities, you know, the tax assessor could always ask the RTM. It doesn't have to come from the tax assessor. Mm-hmm. And the RTM has to get approval from the Board of Finance. Anyway, I, I agree with, with what Bill and, and Jill are saying. I think it's- Well, it let's was, discuss it a little more next week. We'll, we can have Chris there and we can all bring these, these things up again in front of the full body. I think that's, mm-hmm. you know, okay. the right way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. Hey, maybe we should, Maybe we should call it a night uh, mm-hmm. and, and about it next next week. All right. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Do we um, move to adjourn? So we did the WBCA. I don't need to put the information regarding this discussion, or should I just basically your tax relief discussed? I don't yeah. think you have to. It's just kind yeah. of an impromptu okay. thing. Uh, mm. uh, could I have a motion to adjourn, please, and a second? So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. All in favor? So was that second, right. Gerber or Vergara? We'll let Jill have it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thank okay. you. Uh, Good night. 903, right? Yep. 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 All right. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.